Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my Vogue 300 Rally and uh, in this video I've decided to show you how I replace my rear brake pads and service the brakes and also the front ones. And if you're new to this, this kind of bike or you're new to doing stuff on your bike um, then this video could is like a step by step how to do it and what tools you need and I hope it helps. If you look here at the level of the brake fluid, it's, it's, uh, you can see it's gone down from full, which is an indication of how much the piston's moved out, which again, when you check your brake fluid level, and it's good doing that, if it's not leaking, hopefully, it means your brake piston's extended, therefore your brake pads are wearing out. So I'm looking at these brake pads here, you can see how badly they've worn down. This is 5,800 kilometers now. You can see the pistons out quite a way. That's not a lot of mileage, really. And these are the replacements. You can see the difference in the thickness of the pad there. And these are original parts again, Vosges parts. On this one, there's a Allen key here. And it, you can't take the brake caliber off without taking the wheel off. So that's a 5mm Allen key and you take off, there's like a threaded cover for the bolt inside which is still the 5mm Allen key as well so and that look at this that's tight as one hopes it is. Now uh, this is a spring here. I'm expecting that's going to push down on those brake pads in a minute. Okay, that's loose. And that now pulls out. Now there's not really a lot of pressure on there. So, waggle. Waggle. Now, looking at the groove, actually there's still a bit left before the groove, so it's not fully worn out, but a <laughs> hell of a difference. And I'm changing these to go on a long trip, so it's worth putting these in. Now, and that one just drops out. So now the thing to do, look, is you've got to clean all this off, and I don't have any of that brake cleaner which you spray everywhere. The thing to be careful of, I mean I'm looking from the side of the brake now, right in here is this very small plate, angled plate, you can see it just sticking out and obviously the end of the brake pad goes in there and that had come loose while I took the brake pad out and it was hanging around in there. So I think that's really obviously you need to look for that before you put your brake pads back in. Okay, to clean the piston, I've used a cloth and I've used a screwdriver. I'm gonna tuck it in over there with a screwdriver. And also through here, I've managed to get in from the back here and clean it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that action. But it is getting in there. It seems to have done it and and of course if you use any spray don't get it on your disc otherwise it'll go into your brake pad and ruin them so that's the piston cleaned and next I need to close it up okay I wanted to make sure I could do this job with a toolkit I'm taking with me and I didn't want to take a big long screwdriver with me now what I did was use a spanner, which I have in the kit, which is a 11 millimeter spanner. And I pushed the, the whole unit across and then lever back on the brake piston to close it. And that gives you all that space there now to put your brake pads in. And the uh, hole has to go at the back. If 
worked, I'll start with this one and get the get the screw in to hold it in place or the the rod bolt whatever threaded I'm checking that that little metal tab on the side is in place, which it is. I assume there's one on the other part. It's very difficult to see, but that hasn't moved. So, now what I do, oh, that's too big. Is I like to put some of this copper compound on all threaded components which are you take off for maintenance. It's anti-seize, anti-corrosion. Really good stuff. Always use it. Just a smear just to, to help it come apart when you need to do it again. That's tight. And then you put the end cap in, a little bit of copper on it. Doesn't need a lot, just goes around the threads. Tighten up. And push the brake lever and check they work. That works. And that's it. That's the rear brake pads. Quite easy, really. And they, they look quite like... Uh, it's nice to see there's some brake friction material on there. <laughs> it's always a, a relief to have good brakes. There you go. The rear brake done. When I look at these old pads in the light of day, put them together like that, you can see the um, wear indicator groove. They're not fully down. Um, and I reckon, I mean, they've done 5,800 kilometres. I reckon they do another thousand. So I'm not actually going to throw them away yet. That'll be a waste. I'm going to keep them as a spare set. Maybe get to use them when I'm just riding locally. When I'm in between trips. On the front brakes, you do need to remove the caliper. And that's quite easy. There are two bolts here, 10 millimeter. Socket. Now I've had this brake off already, so I know how it works. So it should be quite clean. I did it quite recently. Now under here, there are the two security. You call them blah 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 technical names. I don't know. Anyway, two of those, and um, if this is tight, then you, obviously you could undo all this while it's still fitted in the bike to help you. But I've already had this off, as I said, and I've put copper thread anti-seize compound on, so they come out. Now I'll just show you actually, I'll just show you the difference in the uh, thickness of the brake pads. So again, 5,800 kilometers and the front ones, they've got loads left in them compared to the back. So I don't need to change them for this trip when I get back maybe. So you take these two out. Then you can get it to your... Try to show you this. Once those bolts are out, oh, excuse the smoke, this is to keep the darn mosquitoes away. To... 
these pads will literally just fall out. So there you go. Be careful with that. And I've already got my fingers in and pushed those pistons back because I'd already cleaned them before. Um, so quite an easy unit. So to put them back in, they're two different pads. You have this outer and an inner with this projection here, like a little hook on the end. That one goes on the side there to hold that in. But first I'm going to put this one in. Give me some space. And of course it goes that way up. <laughs> Try not to contaminate the pads with your greasy mucky fingers and oily fingers or anything. Fiddly little job. Fiddly diddly do. And then get the light on here. Screw these back in. And waggle it through the plates, the pads. There we go. Got any thin bits of metal springs fall out on this side. So, reverse procedure. So I'm not going to tighten them up till they're actually fitted to the bike now. So now we've got to. Make sure there's a gap there to so slide it over the disc. There we go. Then we put our bolts back in. Tighten everything up. So everything's refitted, just get the front brake lever, pump it a few times to make sure those pistons go fully out and work. And then just double check everything's tight down here. The ceiling plugs are fitted again, everything's tight here. And then I'm going to refit this little ABS cable and that's it, brakes are done.